it was quickly determined that an influencer was posting on social media about showing up to Union Square and was encouraging all of his followers to come to the park. There were some posts also about giving away some gaming systems. At approximately 3 p.m., the post went viral and thousands of people began to arrive at Union Square. Soon the park and the surrounding streets were overrun with people. They were obstructing both vehicular and pedestrian traffic. The NYPD responded by calling a mobilization in response to the large crowd. As the crowd grew, so did our mobilization. The crowd was swarmed when the influencer finally arrived at the park. Individuals in the park began to commit acts of violence towards the police and the public. There was a construction site within, within the Union, park, uh, Union Square Park, and people broke into the park, and they began to throw uh, articles that belonged to the construction site, paint cans, bottles, rocks. We had people walking around with shovels, uh, axes, and other tools from the construction trade. And additionally, individuals were also lighting fireworks, and they were throwing them towards the police. They were throwing them towards each other. The influencer, we were able to eventually get him out of the park and remove him for safety reasons. Our officers exercised great restraint despite the aggression that they were met with and the acts of violence they were met with. Ultimately, ultimately myself and our leadership team working in tandem with our department attorneys did declare this gathering an unlawful assembly. The NYPD offered multiple, and I do mean multiple, opportunities for the crowd to leave. We tried to give them a, a means of egress for them to exit the park and exit the streets. After numerous warnings and after being assailed, hit with rocks and bottles and other debris, we started to make arrests to clear out the park. Uh, the total number of arrests is still being tallied at this point. And we're still doing uh, evaluations for some of our members. We did have members that uh, sustained some injuries out here. At this time, we successfully dispersed the park. But we still have crowds mulling around Manhattan, and we have officers following them, uh, preventing them from destroying property, looting, and other things like that. And we'll continue to be out here, and we'll continue to disperse this crowd until they're all gone. We're using our drone technology to help us monitor the situation. Of course, our aviation unit is up there as well. Our officers are still being met with some resistance after numerous warnings, and we're still making some additional rests. This mobilization is ongoing, and as I said before, we will be here until this crowd disperses. Uh, at this point, I'll take any questions. Right, we're going to start off with Josh Einiger, ABC7. Thank you. Josh. We've heard reports of injured officers. Uh, a woman told us she saw a cop getting jumped in feet. We have video of you being attacked. Her shirt shows. Uh, can you talk about injuries to the members of the service and your own experience with this being Absolutely, Josh. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't, uh, I believe the woman's account is, is possibly right, even though I don't know exactly what she's speaking about. Our officers were attacked. Uh, we were in there. We were, we were crushed. We were pushed. I had officers on the floor. As you see, I'm a little embarrassed because I'm very dirty right here, but I was in the middle of the crowd. I was hit with uh, multiple objects as well. Um, I think I have a couple of injuries, but I'll figure that out once I get, I have time to think about it. But in terms of any officers, any officers treated for injuries that you know of? Yeah, we, we had we had a, one or two officers removed, and we had officers out here. Who, I had officers who got hit and were hurt, but they stayed. They stayed and helped us to control this. We're going to go over Associated Press. Yeah, hi. Hi, sir. I'm wondering if there is any kind of action that might be taken or could be taken uh, against the influencer. Absolutely. Um, I have, we have, uh, we're in contact with the influencer. I have our legal team here. I'm going to have a discussion with our Commissioner Caban in a little bit, and then we'll make a decision there. Well, I'm wondering, though, if, if there's anything specific that you could be talking him with? Well, we'll discuss with our legal uh, uh, our legal department about inciting a riot and other charges. Now, we're going to go over to uh, Matt. Chief, were any of the youths injured? How many of them? What was the extent of the injuries? And was he actually giving away PlayStations, or was that just a claim? That I'm not sure in terms of the PlayStation. I personally observed young people walking out with their heads bleeding from their heads. 
bleeding from on their faces. I've seen young people, I personally observe young people having panic attacks, anxiety attacks, you know, asthma attacks. It was multiple, you know, people were suffering out here. It was a lot of people. It was uncontrolled. It took us a while to get it under control, and a lot of young people got hurt. Was that in confrontation with the police, or was that in the riot? No, mo well, most of it was within the park. The young people were in the park throwing objects at each other. They were dancing. They were doing a whole lot of things, but they were hurting each other as they were doing this. Why were they stealing stuff from the construction site? What was the reason? That I don't have an answer for. Matt, we're going to move on. Mark Morales, CNN. How are you doing? Mark. Uh, what's the estimate of the how many okay, people were here, and where is this uh, YouTuber streaming now? Like, what precinct is he in? Uh, we, do have, we do have him. I don't know exactly which precinct he's in. We have him. Uh, in terms of people, there was thousands of people out here. It wasn't hundreds of people. It was thousands and mostly young people out here. All right, Dean Moses, AM New York. This isn't the first time something like this has happened after the giveaway. You guys have been to try and prevent this in the future? Uh, we're going to definitely work on this. This is something we will have an after-action review of in terms of how we responded, how we're monitoring social media, and how we can prevent this in the future. We, we, have, we have encountered things like this before but it never to this level of dangerousness where young people would not listen to our commands. They were fighting each other, they were hurting each other, and they were turning our attacks on us. We had to defend ourselves and we had to make arrests. Alfredo Costa, Telemundo. Approximately, Chief, how many people were arrested today? Uh, quite a few. I don't have a, an exact answer. We, 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 we loaded up a city bus. The bus, we had young people attacking the bus, trying to pull people off the bus. We had to send uh, resources there to protect the bus. It was a very dangerous situation. Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11. Chief, the question is, how does something like this happen? Is there no monitoring at all or anything on your radar that this massive influence is coming to? I know they were supposed to have a permit. I heard you guys didn't have a permit. Was this at all on your radar? How did you let it get bigger in the department? Well, this speaks to the power of social media and the danger of social media. We do monitor social media. Um, when I go back later on this evening, I will have an after action to, to, to determine exactly what our steps were. We can't allow this to happen again in the future. All right, we're gonna take one more question. Joe Marino, New York Post. Chief, uh, just Joe. to be clear, this wasn't pre-planned with the city. They, there was no coordination between this event producer and anyone in the department in the city. This was a totally spontaneous event that just sort of jumped off and grew and accelerated. Yes, this was not pre-planned with the police department. This was something that was spontaneous. And as I just said in, the, in, in answering the last question, the power of social media, the danger of social media. Listen, we're not against young people having a good time. We're not against young people gathering. But it can't be to this level where it's dangerous. A lot of people got hurt today. All right, thank you, everyone, for your time and attention. Thank, thank you, folks. You. Thank you. I got his name. Thank you, everyone. All right, we've been listening there as the chief of department, Jeffrey Madry, gave us an update there. You could hear the exasperation, the frustration in his voice, as well as a certain amount of pride in the work of the NYPD this afternoon. He's not giving us an exact number of arrests after all this mayhem today, but he did describe a city bus filled with people arrested uh, from this situation down in Union Square, uh, but the bus was attacked by other people outside, uh, and they had to bring in additional resources. Um, what, what a spectacle. What, what, a, what a scene. Um, an ongoing situation that he's describing right now. Um, they're still working to disperse the crowd. But as we sort of reset the situation for you here, the YouTuber Kai Sinat uh, sent out a call today that he was going to be in Union Square this afternoon giving away 300 PlayStations. A huge crowd of people showed up, at least a couple thousand, and then it devolved into scenes like you're seeing right there because he couldn't deliver all the PlayStations to the people or for whatever other reasons, people just started... Um, uh, expressing themselves and, and frustration and throwing stuff and getting into scuffles and mayhem. And so for a while there, it felt like those streets didn't belong to anybody, but the NYPD mobilized to a level four, as they call it, bringing in a thousand officers to the scene, and they it deployed a different kind of tactic. They were restrained, and as you heard uh, the, uh, the chief of department there describing it, they were taking incoming uh, projectiles. All kinds of stuff was thrown at them, water bottles, uh, pieces of debris, paint cones, cans. paint cans, right? Fireworks. Right? Officers taking